Hi, it's uh, Brian here from PC Mag. You you may know me from such videos as uh, doing Windows 7 and Vista on two laptops at the same time. Um, we're revisiting right th uh, this right now at uh, at Dan Costa's behest um, because that was actually pretty early on in the install process, um, and it was pretty neck and neck. Dan has since come in and tried it again, and you you worked on this. Well, don't 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 spoil it, but you're saying that the results are are not even close. Okay, so let's, uh, let's maybe maybe start. I'm the one that has to hit the button. Oh, okay, so so let's for, for the yeah. record, uh, uh, Vista Ultimate over here, Windows Seven Ultimate over here, Dan. Here we go. Let's see this. The boring part. It's kind of all the boring part, but <laughs> it's true. We're <laughs> turning on computers. Are you? You're not gonna stop. Yeah. I'm gonna run. So far, Windows 7 has better startup graphics. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't have the sound, I noticed. It doesn't have animation. So this is about, I think, where we were the first time around, and Vista just sort of caught up at the end. But we'll see. Uh, there you go. But this is not far behind. It's definitely, there's definitely a much larger gap. So there you go. Uh, winner, I would say, far and away. I think Windows 7. Windows 7. Windows. Faster, faster of the two. Yep. So, so moral of the story, um, reboot your computer a whole bunch of times <laughs> and you'll get the different results. And maybe wait before you uh, post the first YouTube video.